Hello guys and welcome back to a new Minecraft Industrial Foregoing tutorial and in this episode we will take a further look to the Infinity Charger and the Infinity Charger is created by three plastic, two redstone repeater, one diamond gear, one advanced mesh and frame and one, uh, two block of redstone and uh, the Infinity Charger needs at first um, some energy out of your network. Um, in my case I will use uh, this creative energy cell to um, give this machine um, enough energy and we can see that um, our infinity charger is um, charging up okay and um, I will um, disable the connection here and we can see that um, our infinity charger has stored in 1.5 um, giga forge energy and um, that's that's a lot of energy and if I am um, put in some jetpack out of um, the simply jetpacks mode you can see our jetpack is loading but it's um, lo the, the loading time is very high and you you can see it needs a bit of time and um, you can see our power is um, low lower down but not uh, that much and um, the infinity charger is um, the most common use is for the infinity items in industrial foregoing. You can see uh, here in my inventory we have an infinity drill and um, if I put in the infinity drill you can see our power uh, storage is instantly zero because our completely energy is going into um, the infinity drill right here and um, yeah that's the um, usability of the infinity charger um, if you want to use it as a storage um, for example you need to make um, care um, that uh, your infinity charger is always standing on one place because if you um, replace it all your stored in energy is lost and it has a lot of energy storage but if I um, replace it and we can see it right, right there you can see our stored in energy is completely gone so um, that's all to the infinity charger thanks for watching and bye